Hello and welcome to our December message uh, from the American Chamber of Commerce in Australia. I'd like to wish you all season's greetings as we come to the end of our year. As we look back at 2016, uh, I see an incredibly productive uh, year across the entire AmCham family in Australia. Right here in Sydney, uh, we're very proud of the move that we made back into the CBD. We're at 48 Hunter Street. If you haven't come by to see us yet, please do come by at some point. I think you'll like it. We feel much more connected to our members being right in the heart of Sydney as we are in, uh, in other cities in Australia. We also have some uh, key personnel changes. Uh, Steve and Robin Houghton, who have run our AmCham's in Adelaide and Brisbane for the past decade or more, are going into retirement. Uh, and so we wish them well uh, as they undertake new adventures. The new faces in uh, Adelaide and Brisbane uh, are Bernie Sewer and Alicia Doherty. Both of them combine uh, in-depth knowledge of the United States with real connectivity uh, to the communities that they're working in here in Australia. So they and uh, Penelope Williamson in Perth and Ray Doyle in uh, Melbourne and Robert Hossery here in Sydney and myself, we all join our teams in wishing you a very, very, very happy uh, holiday uh, season and all the best wishes for 2017. Now, talking uh, about policy, I won't, I won't pretend to be disappointed about the demise, which I hope is only temporary, of the TPP uh, based on remarks that President-elect Trump has already made. Um, we haven't given up on free trade. We'll be looking for every opportunity to save all or part of what has been accomplished through this uh, amazing negotiation. But we're also looking at other opportunities. It looks like 2017, both here and in, Austra in uh, America, may be the year of tax, year of tax reform. Uh, so we'll be looking at opportunities to move to a territorial tax system in the United States that would solve a lot of doing business problems and individual problems for taxpayers, as well as the prospect of lowering corporate rates uh, in both countries in an effort to jumpstart our economies and move uh, from the twos to the fours in terms of growth. Uh, we are planning our the 2017 Washington door knock with this in mind. Uh, I'm sure taxation will be the main issue. June 19 through 22 are the dates uh, for our visit to Washington along with many others from the AmCham uh, communities across the Asia Pacific region. Block your diaries now, plan to come with us. I'm sure, uh, sure you'll enjoy being among the first to see what the new face of the Trump administration looks like and what the U.S. Congress is able to do with it at that time. We're also very pleased that we're ending 2016 having achieved the momentum we sought in terms of uh, launching a landmark study into the positive effects of foreign direct investment from the United States into Australia. We're doing this with our partners at the United States Study Center and due to the generosity of many of our members and a few other friends, we've actually raised the funds needed almost. We could still use a little more. Let me know if you'd like to participate. But this is definitely a goer in 2000, uh, 2017. Um, I'd also like to call attention to some of the other uh, trips that will be leading to the United States beyond the door knock. Uh, the first one will be the, uh, uh, the Sea Air Space Exhibition in Washington, D.C., April 2nd through 6th. It, it will be led by our general manager from Perth, Penelope Williamson. And then she will also be taking uh, a month later uh, a group to uh, the Offshore Technology Conference in Houston, Texas, the world's largest uh, oil and gas show. That trip will run from the 19th of April to the 5th of May. We also have in October the beginnings of planning underway for a FinTech mission that will take an AmCham group to New York and Washington and possibly another city on the east coast of the United States. Now, uh, our plan for 2017 is to be a very active interpreter uh, and translator of changes coming in the United States for our friends here in Australia. And uh, energy policy is almost certain to be one of those major areas of change under President-elect Trump. 
Uh, so we're pleased in uh, February to be bringing to Australia Barry Worthington, who's the executive director of the uh, American uh, Energy Association. He'll be here in Sydney, Melbourne, and Brisbane during the week of February 21st. So check our website if you'd really like to have some early insight into how global energy markets are probably going to change uh, given new uh, initiatives in Washington, D.C. That's only uh, one of a number of events that are already in the pipeline. Now, I should say that the first event that we'll do in 2017, as we do most years, will be our Super Bowl, which we're offering on uh, the morning of February 6th in both Melbourne and uh, Sydney. Please come on down. We don't know which teams will be playing this year, but I'm sure it's going to be a great game, a great way to start the year after Australia Day. Uh, also in February, we have a series of breakfasts uh, at which we will have experts lay out for you the details about uh, FATCA. Um, this is the American law uh, that affects uh, so many people with bank accounts, especially Americans, but not only Americans who have bank accounts uh, overseas. Um, we're also doing another of Perth's financial toolbox uh, series. Uh, in Adelaide, we'll have um, on the 10th of February, Andrew Cole, the CEO of Oz Minerals. Uh, we also have the former Premier of Queensland uh, and the current Chairman of Gold Coast 2018 uh, Commonwealth Games Corporation, Peter Beatty, AC, speaking in both Brisbane and Sydney in February. So please take a look at uh, those on our website. We also have Bill Ferris, the Chairman of Innovation Australia, speaking in Sydney on the 16th of March. Again, take a look at our website to see who all is speaking at the beginning of 2017. In terms of new members, uh, we've had a real surge of interest and actual action in terms of joining AmCham. PepsiCo, I'm, I'm very pleased to say, is our newest premium member. We have also welcomed back to uh, AmCham AT&T Global Network Services Australia and a, a few of the other companies that have uh, had the wisdom to join AmCham over the past month include Creative Creations TV, uh, Diligent Boards, Executive uh, Central, Great Place to Work Australia, It's Now Cool, that's a women's swim, uh, swimwear uh, line, Nespresso Australia, the Red Flag Group, Australian Unity Limited, and um, the Richmond football team down in Melbourne, and L3 Oceania. Now, if you are seeing this message and you're not currently a member of AmCham, please give us a shout. We'd love to correct that oversight on your part, welcoming you into the AmCham community. That's it for this month. I again wish you all happy holidays. I look forward to speaking with you and seeing many of you in the new year.